Earlier in the series, we looked at a new model in Bailey's Autograph range, which as everyone knows, has now replaced Bailey Approach Autograph. Still with me? Excellent. And whereas the old models had a number, the new models have a very simplified system of designating them. For example, the van we're looking at today, the 79.4, the 79 stands for the body length, and 4 refers to the amount of belted travel seats. Now this layout inside is a new one for Bailey because it's a longitudinal island bed. Previously, in the 730, they had a transverse mounted island bed, but there are a few other refinements they've made for this new range. Now the most obvious change are the new engines underpinning the Peugeot Boxer cabs. These are Euro 6 compliant units and 160 bhp output for a 2 litre engine is a pretty good technological development in anybody's book. Now these cabs are mated to the ultra low Alco AMC chassis so the road holding is superior and also to get in and out of the van is very easy because they're very low to the ground. You'll also notice the new skirts and wheel arches that give the van a purposeful look and actually do make it seem a bit lower than it really is. And there's also a brand new back panel with a light pillar which calls to mind continentally produced motorhomes, a very good touch indeed. Other exterior details of note, there's now a factory fitted wind out canopy awning and the lockers are now double sealed with the kind of locks you may find on a very upmarket German motorhome. And just to round off the exterior details, how about this? A through boot under the rear island bed so you can load all your touring kit from either side of the vehicle. And there's a pair of lights in there, which is very handy indeed, and also a power point. Now, the windows on this van are different too. The bubble type from the last version has gone to be replaced by a more square design, which really looks the part when you consider it against the visual grammar of the side of the vehicle. And furthermore, on the back is a reversing camera fitted as part of the media pack. Now, of course, the first thing that you notice upon entering the van is how wide it feels. There's a great feeling of space. Now, that's due to some clever design. Bailey have cut back this bulkhead, changed the profile of the overhead lockers, and also the profile of the seat rests. It all makes the whole space feel much bigger than it really is. The soft furnishing scheme in this van is Barclay. It's one of two options available. The other one is called Grosvenor, all very upmarket. Now, as standard, you get this leatherette finish that you can see in the driver's seat over there. And talking about travel seats, the other two travel seats in the dinette have these sculpted backs to make long journeys much more comfortable. They're not these vertical seats preferred by some manufacturers. And also, because you can remove one of the full seats on the offside here, you can travel in comfort, even on long journeys. Now this lounge section has more than one use of course. You can also put up a table so five or six people can get round this area at meal times and snack times. The table itself is very clever indeed. It has two legs and it stows in this compartment just in the floor there. Now a bed makes up in this area also. It's achieved by pulling out some sliding slat bases and rearranging the cushions. And if you're wondering, this is the new dream sleep technology that Bailey has imported from its caravan range and is super, super comfortable. Now this midship's kitchen really benefits from the tip-up extension at the end of the kitchen unit. It snaps into position with a reassuring click and in case you're wondering Bailey is calling this worktop basil stone. Awesome. Next to this is a glass lid that provides some other kitchen worktop. Looking underneath you will find an electric hot plate next to the three gas burners. Other kitchen equipment includes a combination oven and grill, microwave oven and a tall fridge freezer with removable freezer compartment. There's plenty of storage on offer too in the form of drawers and they have this pleasing soft closing action. But perhaps the pièce de résistance of the kitchen storage is in the overhead locker department. Look at this, it's an all-in-one jobby manufactured by the Italian gods of marine and leisure vehicle cabinet work Technoform. Check this out for a pleasing action. Up it goes on those amazing gas struts. Now I don't know about you, but this locker is crying out to be filled and emptied every time you do this. Or is it just me? Now with a body length of 7.9 meters and that longitudinal island bed that we'll get onto in a minute, the washroom in this van was always gonna be a little bit pinched for space. Having said that, there's still plenty in there of all the essentials that you need. A separate shower compartment protected by bifold doors, a very trendy looking sink to wash your face in, a swivel loo, and a cupboard to keep your lotions and potions out of view. Bailey has done a very good job of making this rear bedroom very comfortable indeed. It's achieved this from a design perspective by using this brown finish on the side of the wardrobes, for example, which contrasts with the rest of the vehicle. 
The configuration here is island bed, as we've discussed. You get loads of light coming from the side of the vehicle, from these large picture windows, and also up above from this roof light. A pair of wardrobes flanks the bed, another touch you'd expect from this particular kind of floor plan. In the corner here is a vanity unit with a mirror and a handy cupboard underneath with a plug socket. And behind me, as part of the Media Pack Plus, is a second television. Yes, there's a smaller one in the lounge, but the big one is saved for the business end of the vehicle, in this case, the bedroom. Another thing to notice about the bed is that it actually pulls out to radically increase the real estate for the people sleeping there. A very good touch indeed. You achieve this by lifting a rail under the bed and pulling it out. The whole action is very easy. You don't have to be particularly strong to do it. The Bailey Autograph 79.4 is 7.9 metres long, so you'll need a reasonable driveway on which to park it. And at 3,850 kilograms fully laden, you'll need C1 entitlement on your driving licence. Now this new range is a very exciting refresh of a very successful product. Let's not forget that the previous version accounted for 75% of Bailey's total motorhome output. We particularly like the way they've completely reimagined the interior and the specification list is to die for. There's loads of great stuff on there from the Audi heating and the addition of two new media packs will find many favours with buyers. This layout of course is particularly interesting because it's a longitudinal island stroke peninsula bed that Bailey has tried here moving on from the 730 in the previous range. If you're a particular fan of the layout and the comfort and convenience it offers, then you need to head for your Bailey dealer, go onto the order form and stick your autograph at the bottom.